Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Martin Home Lawn Edition. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps that I take whenever I'm doing my spring pre-emergent treatment. So what exactly is pre-emergent? Well, pre-emergent is chemical that you can get from Amazon, from your box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, that will actually prevent weeds from germinating during the spring and winter months. So there's different types that you can get. Um, actually, in today's video, I'm walking you through what I will be using. I'm using this Prodiamine 65WDG that I picked up from Amazon. But there's also different kinds that you can get. This Lex, uh, Les, Lesco version is, uh, I picked it up from Home Depot, and I actually applied this about two weeks ago. So I usually do a granular version, and then I wait a few weeks and then I do the liquid version. There's also things like Spectracide, this weed stop. You can get this for um, Home Depot or from Lowe's. Walmart usually carries it sometimes. Uh, and this is good for um, lawns that already have active weeds growing. So um, it does have a pre-emergent, that crabgrass preventer. Um, you want to make sure that you use enough if you do decide to use uh, this one. But like I said, I will be using this Prodiamine uh, mix. It's uh, solid, but you do have to mix it. And I'll show you how I mix it um, and what that process looks like before um, I do apply it. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do before I apply the pre-emergent is I'm actually going to take my lawn down a little bit. So this is not, this is actually the first time I'm mowing my lawn in the spring. It's not a, a full scalp. I usually do what's known as a scalp, a scalping of the lawn during mid spring. I'll say somewhere around early to mid April down here in Georgia is when you start seeing signs of life with your Bermuda lawn. You start seeing a lot of green, um, green, little, little bits of green grass coming up. So that's generally a good indication that it's it's time to scalp. But this is not a scalp. This is just me taking my lawn down a few inches just to make sure that um, I'm getting good contact um, to the ground when I apply the pre-emergent. So I did my back lawn and uh, you see me here going through and doing the same thing in the front. Again, not necessarily taking it down to the ground like I would when I do my uh, spring scalp, but just taking a few inches off the top to help that pre-emergent get to that ground level where it can be the most effective. So after I do the um, lawn in terms of taking it down, uh, this is what it looks like. Again, you can see, you can't really even tell that I cut it down that much again because I didn't. I just took maybe about a half an inch just to take some of that dead grass off so that uh, that pre-emergent can make good contact. Now what I'm going getting ready to do is mix the, the Prodiamine. This is what it looks like here. It comes in a white gallon and it's actually a yellow um, solid substance. You'll see it in a second when um, I mix it. Make sure you follow the direction. I think it says about um, five ounces or 0.5 ounces, 0.55 ounces for every square, every thousand uh, square uh, feet. So make sure you measure your lawn and and um, know how much you need to apply according to the instructions um, in the label or given by the label. Um, and what I'm actually doing here. Um, or what I actually did was um, I, I made it two passes with my lawn. Again, this is just to make sure that I get a good coverage. So whatever the recommended dose is, what you can do is you can divide that into two. And I'm using this one gallon sprayer. So 
once you you have the amount that you need, maybe you uh, you can half it and then fill the first half um, in your gallon and your sprayer and then come again with a second pass uh, with the second half to make sure you get those spots that you might have missed. The good thing or the great, the important thing for the pre-emergent is to make sure you get good coverage. You know, you you don't want to have any spots that are missed because weeds will find a place to germinate. If you know there if there's any way that you missed, you will know it because during the spring, during the summer, you will start seeing where it's uh, the spots that you have missed. So something else that I do here, I use this dye. Um, and what this dye is, uh, it actually just serves as a visual indicator so that I can see where I'm actually making and spraying my application. Um, it's that dye there that you just saw. You can get that from Amazon. Um, again, it's not really doing much except for serving as a visual indication so that I'll know exactly where I'm applying and to see uh, that I haven't missed any any spots. So once I put the pre-emergent in the gallon and I put the dye, um, I'll then fill up the, um, the sprayer with some water, make sure that I mix it in really, really well. Again, you can divide your application in to uh, as many portions as possible to dilute it and make sure that you are you are doing multiple passes and getting that good coverage um you know and that actually may be a better idea so that you're not trying to cover the entire lawn in one pass with just a single gallon um so that that may be something that you may want to consider doing So just make sure, you know, you fill, fill up the sprayer to the recommended um, height or label according to, to the marker on the side of the sprayer. And then you just want to make sure you mix it thoroughly and, and shake it up even after you put the top on it or whatever uh, sprayer you're using. You want to make sure that you mix in the solution really, really well. And then the next thing is just to to make sure you start applying the the, the pre-emergent to get a good coverage. Like I said earlier, you know, this is act I did multiple pass. So the video that you're seeing here, this is my second pass. So you can see that I'm I'm actually speeding through it, but you want to make sure that you are taking your time and that you are really really getting good coverage with the pre-emergent. Um, Pre-emergent is it's very, very important that you don't miss any spots. So if you have to take your time and do multiple passes, do what you need to do to make sure you're you're getting a good coverage and you're not missing any areas of your lawn because you will know it in the spring, in the summer, if you have um, any areas missing. So something else I do actually after I'm done doing the pre-emergent i go through with my hose and give it a good soak in to get the chemical off of the the grass and into the ground layer and this is this is what it looks like when i'm done you know so here what i'm doing i'm just going through i usually do um, one or two passes and um, kind of look at the the lawn to make sure I've, I've got a good coverage. Again, having that dye will give me a really, really good idea of where I've sprayed and, and where I may have over, um, I, I may have missed. And that's pretty much it, you know. So um, again, the important thing is that you get a good coverage. Pre-emergent is, is one of the most important things that you can do for your lawn. Um, I usually tell people if you don't do anything else, if you don't apply any fertilizer, make sure you get your pre-emergent down during the uh, early spring, during the fall, because that's going to help you to limit how much um, 
chemicals you're putting down to kill weeds because you're not even giving the weed any time or any chance to germinate. So make sure if you haven't put any pre-emergent, again, I'm in Georgia, um, but according to your, your, your area or the state that you're in, look at your weather, look at your, your temperatures when you start getting into the 60s. Um, I'll say maybe about two or three, two weeks before you start getting into the 60s, you want to make sure that you have that pre-emergent down. But uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I'll be making more of these videos to kind of walk you through and help you with your your lawn journey uh, to make sure that you get that that perfect lawn. So subscribe and um, thank you for watching.